Good day. My Christian brothers and sisters. Under the name of Jesus, I pray that God will respond to your prayer in a glorious way with perfect insight and mercy. Today, together we share with each other a message given from St. Michael the Archangel to Luz de Maria Bonilla on June 18, 2022. This is an important message that is relevant to the current time we are living in because it directly reminds us to follow the right way towards God regardless of so many chaos and disorders that are putting the whole humanity in great challenges. For that reason, I'd like to implore you to keep sharing this video with others and spreading the message to every part of the world, because the divine calls from the Most Holy Trinity are clearly urgent and worthy of attention. We pray that by sharing these words with all of you, many more eyes will be open to the truth and, like the prodigal son, will come to faith in Christ. Let us begin by praying to our Heavenly Father for awareness and guidance so that the Holy Spirit can teach us what we need to know. Dear our Heavenly Father, our Lord Jesus, You are the King of Kings and our all-powerful God. There isn't anything you can't do. We humbly request that you provide us with a fantastic experience. The appeal of your love for us and our world drew us deep into your essence. Tell us about the insights you're getting from other people. Taking better care of them, forgiving them, and delighting in the way they praise you. They help us decipher out of that open place of excellence directly by being present and existing, so that we might improve and become more deserving and precious vessels of your love in the world. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we pray for you. Amen. One more prayer, we recite a short one to Saint Michael the Archangel. When we pray, we must remember that we are fighting to defeat our genuine enemies, the devil and his evil spirits, not each other. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us on the day of war, protect in the place of battlefield, be our shield against the devil's wickedness and snares, may God reprimand him. We humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, cast Satan and all evil spirits who travel the globe attempting to destroy souls through God's might into hell. Amen. The message from Saint Michael the Archangel begins. To all of the beloved children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, accept the blessings that our Lord Jesus Christ is continually showering on each of you. Our Queen and the Mother of the End Times love you. You are so cherished that her Divine Son has dispatched his Angel of Peace to accompany you, to pave the road you go, and to keep you focused on God's law so that you do not take any wrong turn. Beloved people of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, you have responded to my call for seven days of prayer for the good of humanity with love, faith, and obedience. It is often forgotten that a human being is meaningless without prayer. Without heartfelt and soulful prayer, the creature vacillates when confronted with demonic temptations, making people an easy target for the devil's schemes. In the face of the attack of evil that tries to destroy and split the works of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, Brotherhood and mutual support among children of God is very important, and unity is highly required. People claim to be givers of divine gifts in order to split God's children and lead them away from the true path they should follow. Matthew 24 verses 10 to 11 At that time many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other, and many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. Jesus Christ, our King and Lord, summons you to unite and join as a strong and firm whole. Understand that what is about to happen isn't merely a downpour or a gust of wind, nor will it be accompanied by darkness or tremors. 
People haven't realized that what's coming are the most severe tests and assaults humanity has ever encountered in this generation. However, it is not the end of the world. How is it possible to make the whole mankind aware of the main reason and spirit that is coming stands written? What should people of God do when looking in the mirror and discovering that they rejected the truth, did not believe it, and did not prepare themselves, neither in spirit nor in regard to what heaven has revealed to them? Actually, there is no time to wait. Be careful and keep ourselves conscious not to fall into the trap set up by the devil at this most crucial times and ages for the whole of humanity. Famine will spread, along with a scarcity of basic human necessities. In the absence of the money God to whom you have pledged your security, the world's economy would collapse and mankind would descend into disorder. The wheat will be divided from the tares, and the tares will persecute the wheat, children of our Queen and Mother of the End Times. Matthew 13 verses 24 to 26 Jesus told them another parable, The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat, and went away. When the wheat sprouted and formed heads, then the weeds also appeared. Do not fear because the wheat will rise with greater strength after the tribulation, enlightened by the love of its King and Lord Jesus Christ. People need to remain on spiritual alert and watch out. Matthew 7 verse 15 Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. There are wolves in sheep's clothing dragging God's people into the spiritual abyss, and you're accepting it with such weakness and coldness that you might end up among the tares. To avoid being misled, the children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ must be spiritual. You must preserve your spiritual fortitude and not be led astray when morning enters the house of God. That is exactly what the devil desires, for the sheep to be scattered. Do not allow it to happen. Beloved children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, keep on praying. Pray in front of depression, upheavals, and persecution. Pray that humanity would respond to this call to prayer. Pray for the earth since its ground will tremble violently. Pray for the salvation of all humanity. Pray that people would recognize Mother She who is the Mother of the Word. Continue with firm steps and hurry without fear. Continue to hope, trusting in the Trinitarian will rather than despairing. Because you are loved, I present to you eternal life words that call you to conversion. Join and come to me. Set off on the proper route, the one that will bring you to our Lord and King, Jesus Christ. I will guard you and bless you. Do not succumb to fear. My angelic legions will keep you safe. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. This is the end of our video. Thank you for watching, and may God continue to shower us with His favors and blessings. Until the next time we meet, stay blessed and keep praying.